I've been married for 15 years. Ooh. It is not that I don't have issues. Every marriage has issues. But I say that marriage is for matured people. How you handle certain things during your period of relationship is what you take into marriage. So if you want to ignore certain things during your relationship period, then you should bear in mind that you have to learn to, you know, ignore when you are in marriage. Mm. A lot of young ones seem to think about just the love mm. and they forget about a lot of things. And, the money. and marriage is not all about, oh, that's what I'm saying. Mm. They always think about the love. You see, the young ones, when they meet up with a guy and they meet, they hug, the kiss and all those things, they feel that is love. Mm. Or excuse me to say, let me say, maybe when they have sex. Mm. Oh, I had a wonderful time. And they feel that marriage is all about that. Marriage has the hard times. And that's why even when you cut the wedding cake, you get into a certain part of the cake, you feel that, uh, you taste that alcohol part of it, mm. you get to a certain part, you take the, the salty part mm. and the tasty, that's how marriage is. Mm. It is not all that rosy. You get to the hard times, you need to use maturity to handle certain issues. You all not have... Um, it rosy. Real rosy. Mm. You have people in their marriage who even have problems with their husbands being uh, family people, too much into family you have their mothers, their sisters, and family members coming to the house. You need to handle those things. If you don't handle it from the relationship period, definitely when you get to the marriage, it's going to, it's going to uh, bother you. Mm. And marriage is also all about sacrifice. If you're not ready to sacrifice, don't get into it. I see um, Osinachi's marriage like the olden days marriage. The olden days when you are going to marriage, and the typical local marriage, they will tell you when you go, you are not coming back. Mm. When your husband beats you, stay. stay when he tells you to sit, sit. If he tell you to sleep, sleep. Marriage is not sla slavery. Yes, you need to uh, uh, like submit. submit to your husband, respect him, show love. But you shouldn't be scared of your husband. A lot of people even hear their husbands coming home and they are running to hide. Shaking. And they feel that is submission. No, it is not. So there are things we need to look out from the early stage. Mm. If you are able to handle that, we will not be sitting here and talking about Osinachi's issues. Mm. And it's happening in a lot of homes. Somebody says something, um, everybody seems okay, unless you talk to them, then you know that somebody is going through issues. There are a lot of people who are going through marital issues, a lot of people, but the mature ones are able to handle issues. But I believe when it comes to an issue of death or maybe abuse, either emotional, spiritual, physical, when you get to that level, you've already gotten there. There is nothing somebody will tell you to do. And from the stories I've heard, it seems maybe her pastor told her to, you know, step out. Mm. As I said earlier, she has that olden, an olden days mentality that says, what God has put together, you know, don't come out of it. Don't do this. And that's one of the reasons that caused her death. Mm. We should use this as a, um, a story that we can learn from. Mm. This is Pits.